Greetings in Christ. I'm so excited to take Lent back with you today. Nancy Golden here, and we're going to be reading Friday, day 27 from Taking Back Lent. Let's get started. When an event like Hurricane Harvey in August of 2017 occurs, it catches us completely off guard. We live in such a blessed country of plenty that the devastation wrought by Harvey in Houston was hard to fathom for those of us who were on the outside looking in. But even as far away as Dallas, we saw the effects. Evacuees were making their way into our communities. Most everyone I know was shocked at the gas pump. Stations were temporarily running out and prices started reflecting supply and demand. For me personally, I watched my son-in-law receive a phone call as we were about to eat Sunday lunch. He didn't stop to eat and was gone within 10 minutes after bringing in school books and our grandchildren's car seats into the house from his truck. He needed to go directly to pick up two other members of the Army Reserve so they could deploy to Houston with their unit. Our daughter was now responsible for our three grandchildren by herself at the beginning of a new school year. They were ready to sacrifice for our neighbors. Local community organizations and churches stepped up to stand in the gap and serve those who had been devastated by Harvey. Individuals answered the call for volunteers and city and government officials worked side by side with citizen volunteers to rescue Harvey victims. Jesus prayed for unity and in this time of tragedy, it was beautiful to see that prayer being answered over and over. Instead of looking at each other through the petty lens smeared by our broken humanity full of grievances and complaints, we looked at each other through the same lens Jesus does. All of the divisive issues that had been blasting through the media didn't seem important anymore. We were faced with our common humanity and how beautiful it was to see our response. The same response that Jesus calls us to, love thy neighbor. Scripture tells us in John 1, 5, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. The body of Christ continues to shine and the devastation of Harvey has not overcome us. Help comes from the Lord and we have the great privilege of being his hands and feet. During this Lenten season, let us reflect on our common humanity and the second greatest commandment. God calls us to love our neighbors as ourselves. In the constant climate of social and political divisiveness exasperated by social media, let us follow Jesus' example and strive for unity. And today's activity. Think about ways you can shine for Christ. Look for a volunteer opportunity in your community. Short-term, long-term, and ongoing needs exist. Find one that fits your season of life and commit to helping. Your service to others will glorify your Father in heaven. What a wonderful response to the grace you have received. Thank you so much for taking back Lent with me today. God bless you on your Lenten journey, and I'll see you tomorrow.